And President Barack Obama put his divisive class warfare rhetoric on full display yesterday during an economic event in Kansas. And today, some of his left-wing supporters, such as former Clinton Labor Secretary Robert Reich, are praising the address as, quote, the most important economic speech of his presidency. However, there is a slight problem. According to multiple reports today, including a scathing fact-check done by the Washington Post, Many of the assertions in the president's speech cannot be verified. Now take, for example, this statement by the president. Some billionaires have a tax rate as low as 1%. 1%. That is the height of unfairness. It is wrong. Now, what's wrong with that statement, according to the Post, is a White House official has now conceded that the administration has no actual data to back up that claim. And as a result, the Post has awarded the remarks with three Pinocchios, meaning, quote, significant factual error and obvious contradictions were present. Oh, he didn't tell the truth. That's my analysis. Here with analysis, Fox News contributor Monica Crowley and from the Fox Business Network, Sandra Smith is back with us. You're saying that there's a party for the media people at the White House tonight. Yes, and I can't believe that <laughs> none of us got invited. Wait a minute. <laughs> so lame. Did anyone get to go? Uh, well, certain media organizations. No, did anyone from Fox go? I, I don't know, but none <laughs> of us are there tonight. I didn't get an invitation. I did, telling the did, truth. About I have Obama. never gotten an invitation. And I saw all the liberal media at the, the Bush. I went to one party in eight years when Bush was there, and I, I, all the liberals showed up. Yes, and, and us conservatives continued to get. Did this you get an invitation? No. I'm no invitation on my desk. Did anybody from Fox get an invitation? You know, I don't know. You don't know either. We, maybe we'll hear about it tomorrow, though. It would be interesting. We'll see. I mean, I, why didn't Obama, President Obama, I'm offended. <laughs> he won't come on the program either. After He's all, afraid to so deal with the tough questions though. from Hannity on the program. Well, we all tell the truth about him. Yes. So oh, no invites true. for us. Well, we keep him in line. Well, in terms of the just rank dishonesty here in the president's speech, I mean, the Washington Post is not a conservative news outlet. Right, Barack yeah. Obama not telling the truth? Shocking, Shock. yeah, Sean. No. You know what was amazing about this speech is that he continues to use code words for wealth redistribution. So in the speech, he was talking about fairness. He used the word fairness over and over again. He talked about, quote, leveling the playing field. What we're talking about is a president who, from day one, has sought to redistribute the nation's wealth, have the government seize it, and then redistribute it according to what the leftists believe are their priorities. So you get socialized medicine, you get the stimulus, you get the EPA and, and through regulations all and running the Congress. This is what this man's agenda has been from the I, beginning. Beyond the obvious contradiction that we were discussing with Sarah Palin earlier, and that is that Republicans want dirty air, water, autistic, uh, old people, and, yeah. and, and kids with Down syndrome to fend for themselves. Obvious lies. It's just I think not they true. truly believe that, too. Somehow. No, I, I don't think he believe. He can't believe. He, this is... Has the president looked at the, the economic demographics in the country and said, well, 47% well, of the country pays no taxes. Let me go for them and get four more percent and I win. It's crazy because you're hitting exactly the problem I had when I was listening to this speech. Where is the math? Where are, is the citing of multiple economists on both sides of the aisle? On the Fox Business Network, Sean, we brought in an economist, an analyst after analyst that looked at this speech and we said, is he describing what fair is? Every time he used that word today, or in the speech yesterday, Sean, it made me cringe. It's almost like he's trying to, you know, cut a deal with the American people. The premise is still there for the American dream to succeed. It's almost like he's saying it's harder now than it was 10, 50 years ago. It's not. It's not. No, people are succeeding. I see a desperate politician that has now become a ruthlessly dishonest politician. And what's going to be interesting here, as the media attacks every conservative, is will they do their job and expose Obama's record on civility and rhetoric on civility versus his own words and actions? Yeah, don't hold your breath on that, Sean, no. because he might turn blue. Look, It'd be like Bob Beckel about... eating a shrimp. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, look, what we're talking about in Barack Obama is a pure leftist ideologue. People say, well, why isn't he doing things to fix the economy? He can't, Sean. He won't because he can't. If he were to fix this economy, he would have to reverse everything that he's put in place, mm. and he'd have to completely alter his leftist 
leftist economic philosophy. All right, but think this about this, Sandra. Is, that means he's willing to divide the country and use the most divisive rhetoric. Yeah, he has no shame. Yes, that's but what he's right. doing. So why? Because he wants the 1600 Pennsylvania. He wants this beautiful White House, an airplane, and a helicopter, and he wants to go on vacation on he's, the taxpayer's dollar. It's a, if you think about what he's saying, it's obscene. He's blaming the Bush era tax cuts, ten-year-old tax cuts, ATM. on today's slow growth. He has still shown that he's not willing to take responsibility them. for lack of job growth. There was more on an average monthly basis. There was higher job growth during the Bush business cycle than there was in, during any year that President Obama has been great president. Yeah, it's a great point. When you say, what is his objective here? Is it four more years of Air Force One? No, it's about fundamentally remaking the country, which is what he told us he was going to do, do in 2008, and that's exactly what he's doing. But you see, that he hid it well in 2008. You can't hide he, it anymore. Because of his record, right. which is failed, now he's just got to go out and say, I got to complete the job of, of but destroying the economy. That's why he's trying to economy. divide and conquer. So yeah. he's doing he really class can. warfare, right? And he, he's, yeah. he's pretending to protect the middle class, but yeah. all of his policies are designed to destroy Let the middle class. Let me make a promise, and I know it'll be picked up by the left wing media. I'll do the rest of the media's job. That's all I'm going to say at this point. I promise. I will do their job, and we'll make it interesting. I, we'll be very involved we'll in the 2012 up, campaign. Sean. We'll back you up. Or I'm going to probably need it. It's, it's our job. Uh, that's your, that's We're exactly right. We're holding them accountable. All right, guys, good to see you both. Thank and you. I Thanks, can't Sean. believe we didn't get invited to the Obama White House Christmas it was party. Next year. Must have gotten lost in the mix. Next year? <laughs> next year. We're banking on it. Let me put it this way. Hell will freeze over before I get that invitation. <laughs> and coming up.